Welcome to September Favorites. I have two quick items to cover with you before I get into my favorites. The first is that I am going to be doing a meetup with Melissa Parada. Now, if you don't follow Melissa, you have to go check out her channel. I'll link it below. She is so sweet and I'm really excited about meeting her. She has just moved out from home. Uh, she does vlogs on Sunday and I love her mom, Mama B, and her dog, Harley. And it's kind of been fun watching her adventure as she gets her apartment and she's been decorating it. She works at Sephora. She does some of the most gorgeous eye looks. Really like Melissa. As you can tell, I feel like I already know her and I can't wait to meet her. So our meetup is going to be on Thursday, October the 23rd at 6 p.m. at Chandler Mall at Sephora. Now, last time we had some disconnect with people, so please Please use Twitter to get a hold of me if you can't find me there. Also, if you want to let me know if you're planning on coming, I'm going to make a list and we'll be looking for everybody, hoping that we have everybody there before we move off to the food court or wherever we might end up. So I hope you're able to make it because there's so many of you that I know live in Arizona that I would absolutely love to meet. The second thing I wanted to cover is that I'm going to try doing a monthly blog post on my blog of ellisforliving.blogspot.com of capturing my life. So it'll be a little more than what you hear in these favorites. Let me know if you like it, if you think I should include more things in there. This is going to be my first month, so if you want to go over there and look at it, I would love your feedback of other things you think I should be including. <laughs> So my three favorites in makeup this month all come from our trip to Maui. The Amrezi Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. This is a gorgeous palette. I was so glad I took it with me. I created so many varying looks with this in the evenings. Loved it. It's so pigmented and it lasts. It's an absolutely beautiful palette. I think it's one of my favorites. I don't know, I have quite a few, but this is definitely up there. So that would be one of them. Another makeup favorite, again from Maui, was my NYX Cream Eyeshadows. I took Rust, which is gorgeous, and I have Copper on my lids today. My little tribute to fall, even though we're 104, I think, today. <laughs> We don't get down below 100 usually till sometime around Halloween, so you aren't going to see me in winter clothes for a while. But these cream shadows are pigmented, they're gorgeous, they go on beautifully, and you have to work fairly quickly to get them where you want them because they dry, and I think they say they're water resistant. And I can attest to that because when I went in the water at Maui, as long as I didn't, you know, touch my eyes or dry off my eyes, if I just you know, kind of patted around to get rid of the water and left my eyes lids alone, it lasted incredibly well. So definitely love. And the third makeup item I've been loving this month is my Coastal Scents blush palette. I took this with me to Maui. I usually take it with me when we travel. You have so many different colors. I would have maybe packed a peach and a pink blush for there. I found that I was using some of the mauves with you know, just for a hint of color or the uh, more um, bronze colors with my bikini look. I just put on a quick swipe to give me some color before we went to the beach. I love this palette. I haven't done a review yet on the Coastal Scents Forever blushes, which I cannot say enough about. They last forever. But I am wondering if these are also forever blushes. They last amazingly well. I think they're much better than the BH Cosmetics. I know some of you probably have that blush palette, but I really love this Coastal Scents blush palette, so highly recommend that. So obviously for my appreciations this month, I have to mention Maui. We had the most amazing time. The only complaint was it didn't last forever. I could have stayed in that gorgeous condo and gone to the beach every single day. It was just so relaxing and incredible. I also need to tell you that we really enjoyed doing the vlog. It was so much fun how Mark would come out of the water all excited and say, I got these great shots. I think you can use them in your vlog. And he was also very excited that he got a bunch of things he can use in my Ellis for Living banner at the front, which I thought was really sweet of him. So Maui is definitely at the top of the list of our favorites and we can't wait to go back next year. When we went to Maui, I worked for seven hours on the plane on my laptop, not ergonomically correct. Worst thing I could have done, and I have a reoccurring 
mouth shoulder injury and of course it came back and I was in some serious pain and then we come back home and I get over a hundred emails a day with work I'm on my computer all the time trying to stay on top of all my emails and as well as doing my day job I don't have an option except for to work and that's the last thing that I'm supposed to be doing they tell me to stay off the computer I'm going to my myopractic and my chiropractor but this has helped me so much and I wanted to share it with you because even though it says it's for sore joints and back pain it also says it's good for arthritis and I know a lot of you suffer from arthritis so the product is BioFreeze it is a menthol scent when you first put it on the nice thing is it vanishes so I don't smell like an old lady for long and I love this rollerball because it is only three ounces so I can take it in my liquids on the plane and even when I'm on the plane it's extremely easy to apply you don't bother anybody else and it's something I can keep in my purse it's just a fantastic product it's a cryotherapy freezing long-lasting pain relief of course it's not going to fix the problem but it helps temporarily to mask it so if that's something that interests you I would highly recommend this and I will put links below I think every vacation you should have some learning or some takeaway from that and my one with Maui is that I need to get back into my knitting and my books. I read so much and I loved it and I have a lot of them updated on my uh, blog. The one that I would point out to you is We Were Liars. Now unfortunately I can't tell you too much because it will spoil it. It is a different ending. Don't read too much about it. It is about these cousins of a very wealthy dysfunctional family and they go off on vacation every year at their vacation home and it's about their relationship. I texted Olivia and said that I was going to do my update on YouTube on her and I said what do you want me to tell everybody and she said you should say that I'm doing absolutely great my hair is growing back really fast and I'm going to the gym and I'm playing hockey again so what a difference from two months ago she is absolutely loving life she's still doing treatment for the next two years for her leukemia but she is doing amazingly well she's just got such great spirit and I love her and I'm happy that she's doing great again. <clears throat> now, because hopefully there won't be a whole lot to tell over the next two years, I'm thinking of not putting these updates of Olivia in. Let me know if maybe you want them quarterly or something less frequently, but I think they're just gonna be hopefully the same wonderful news that she's doing great. <laughs> So that's my September favorites. Let me know what you've been appreciating this month or your favorites. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic day and we'll talk to you next time.